In this video, we want to create a journal batch. The scenario is that you have purchased computers in the current open period. The computers are valued at $85,000, of which the office is paying $5,000 cash, and the remainder will be paid over the following year. An additional memo informs you of $135,000 of one-time sales revenue that is earned by selling these computers. So we're going to record the journals for the memos in one batch using a batch control total. So from our general ledger vision operations responsibility, we want to navigate to the journals entry window, so journals enter. And then we want to select new batch. So the batch is going to be called AS Computer Purchases and Sales. And I'm going to use December 16 as my period. So again, I can use the same in my description it's not required but um, any field that is in white is an entry field and it was in beige is an also an entry field but it's mandatory if it's grayed out as you have in this field here called posting then the field is it's not editable, but it's a view only screen. So I'm going to enter my to control total, which is the total of the two, two memos. One is for 85,000 and one is for 135,000. So my control total should be 220,000. That's my control total. And now I want to enter the journals. So if I click on journals, and then I can now start to enter my journal. So my first one is for the computer purchase, AS computer purchases. And I want to select the category called addition. So that's my effective date, which is the 16th of December, which is today's date. And leaving my currency as US dollars, which is my functional currency. And then I'm going to enter my journal. So line number 10. And the, so my company is company five zero, department zero zero zero, and one five six zero, which is for computers and software. Click on okay. And that's a debit for my purchase of 85,000. That's debiting my asset cost account. And I want to now credit cash for 5,000 because I've paid part of it by cash. So same company details but is going to the cash account which is 1110 is cash and that is for 5000 paid 5000 by cash and 80000 will be paid um later It'll be invoiced later so that will go into my ap uh liability account so that is 2210. So that's my accounts payable account. And the value of that is 80,000. 80, so in my description, I'm going to enter my descriptions manually. I'm going to call this one computer, computers and software. And in my next line, I'll call this cash. And here I'll call this account P. 
table. So I'm going to save and it will tell me that my batch, yes, so there's a control total violation in this batch. Do you still want to save this batch? I'm going to say yes. And then I'm going to enter another journal. I can use my key down arrow to enter another or I could have used my new. So name for this one is going to be AS Computer Sales. The sale of the computers and the category here will be revenue so that's money coming in I've got revenue and then I'm going to enter my details so I I haven't actually collected the money yet so I'm going to debit my accounts receivable and then credit my revenue account so my department is 000 account 1210 so that's my accounts receivable build I've sent an invoice to the customer for 135,000 accounts receivable and then I'm going to recognize that I've sold it. It's going to go to some sort of revenue account. Um, it's a cost center. Oh, so revenue center for four, sorry, four, one, one, oh. So let's have a look at the, so East sold it, so they're going to, sales region called East sold it and they've sold hardware for and that's gone into the revenue account for hardware and the credit to the revenue account is 135,000 and I'm going to call this revenue so that's my my journal I'm going to save it and close the journal window and you can now see that the batch total is the same as what I have in my control total and save these close the page and that's how to create a batch so thanks for watching and see you in the next video